Robert Isom from American Airlines CEO joining us here at their headquarters in Fort Worth. Uh, let's talk about not only the third quarter, but also when you look into the fourth quarter here. Um, and what you're seeing right now, despite this concern about right. airline demand, you don't see it in terms of the travel and demand and the portfolio out there, right? Right. Well, Phil, the world's got a very short-term focus right now, and we're in a business that we have to plan and work for the long run. And when I step back and take a look at the things that we said we were going to do, return the airline to reliability, uh, profitability, and then pay down, and strengthen our, uh, pay down debt and strengthen our balance sheet. We've done all of those things. Americans have been the most reliable airlines, certainly over the last year. In, t in terms of, of, of profitability, six consecutive quarters. And now, you know, in, in, in terms of debt, we've actually paid down 11, almost $11 billion on our way to even more. So as I take a look out into the future, I see American positioned very strongly. I want to give a shout out to our team for really putting together th these fantastic results. And as we look into the future, look, it's a rocky time. But that said, I see demand, especially as we approach the holidays, very strong. The booking trends for the holidays, what yeah. are you seeing? Oh, we're, booked, we're booked stronger than we were at the same time last year. Now, we have to deal with yields as well. But overall, I feel really good about where demand is, not just now. People want to connect. People want to travel. And so as I take a look out into 2024, I see robust demand. You have you just stated basically to the investor out there, this is why American is performing. Right. But when we show people your chart, right. you're at an all time low. You're ah, below right. where you guys were in 2013 when you came public. I don't expect you to answer for the investor, but how do you convince the investor this is not the time to be negative on American? Hey, I don't like where our stock price is. It's not, it's not acceptable. But it is because we actually have to get out there and tell our story and, and have people understand what's going on. This is a business that really needs to be looked at over a longer period of time. When you take a look at the last 12 months or go back to comparisons versus 2019, I'm very pleased with how we have recovered, how we've performed from a relative margin perspective. And as we go forward, we're entering a period where, look, American Airlines, we bought almost $30 billion worth of assets, aircraft, prior to the pandemic. Right? We're getting to use those. Those are assets that will be used for the next 20 plus years. So others at the same time are taking a look at it going the opposite direction. Americans very well positioned for the future. In the quarter, you paid down about $1.5 billion in yeah. debt. But you're still highly leveraged relative right. to your competitors. Right. Is that a headwind in a high interest rate environment like this? Well, right, right now, when I take a look at our overall portfolio of, of, of debt, about 75 percent of that is fixed, 25 percent. Is, is floating. That 75% was all put in place during a period of time when interest rates were actually, you know, fairly favorable for, for financing. The 25% on the floating side, right now, our our high cash balances uh, really offset that because they're earning interest too. The yields that you mentioned, a big factor of that, is the capacity in the market right. and what's happening out there. How concerned are you about the capacity that has been brought on, especially on the lower end of the market? Obviously, you have the premium and the international, so you've got a different portfolio of customers than the lower cost carriers. But there is concern in this industry that there's too much capacity that's out there right now, especially on the lower end. Are you worried? Hey, it's a supply and demand business. And, and over time, look, we react to it. From an American Airlines perspective, we're going to go do the things that we know work. And that is making sure we're running a reliable airline, focused on profitability, serving our customers in a way that they want to be served, offering them products that they're willing to pay for, restoring service to places that, that quite frankly, we haven't been able to because we have actually been somewhat constrained in terms of putting back assets that aircraft have been on the ground. So as I take a look forward, I do think that the industry overall, and especially American, we are going to react in a, in a way that ensures that we're profitable over the long run. I know they've got a question for you back yeah. in the uh, mothership. Guys, go ahead. Hey, Robert, and, and, and thanks to Phil for asking all the financial questions, because I want to ask about the trip. Um, yeah. Robert, I'm on the road two, three, four times a month, and, and, and I think things have gotten a little better. Um, just tell me what you guys are going to do. What can I look forward to that's going to make air travel less of the drudgery that it's been? Well, f first off, thanks for the question. But I'll go back to the best thing that we can do is make sure that people get to where they want to go on time. And that is where we have been focused. There's been a lot of diff difficulty in the supply chain in terms of making sure that yes. resources are on the right place. But that's where we focused first. We've done a great job of that. Best summer that we've had, you know, really in our, in our history. And as we go forward, 
the real key is to make sure that we can recover when ir irregular operations happen. And in that case, we want to make sure that you have the ability to really uh, ad address service issues you know, as quickly as we can. So we're going to be really pushing you know, uh, more uh, amenities and, and, and capabilities through our app and our website. And over time, I think that, that, that life is going to be uh, a lot easier, especially when you think about flying on a carrier like American, where we have a full tier of products and, and, and also services to take care of you. Robert, real quick, because yeah. uh, we've got to wrap here business travel. It's right. about 80% back compared to pre-pandemic. Right. You still can see, it, see it growing, let's say, over the next year or two? So as, as I take a look back, we're, we're inching back to, you know, uh, we're making good progress. But at about 80% now, I think that that comes back, especially as people return to the office even more and as we look into 2024. On top of that, the industry really still hasn't recovered its full, fair share of, of our full share of GDP as, it, as, as it's been in the past. And so as I take a look out into the future, I think demand is going to be there. American is going to be very efficient. And uh, we're a story that, uh, you know, I, I can't wait to talk more about. Robert Isom, CEO of American Airlines. On a day, guys, where they do beat on the bottom line, uh, but, you know, those concerns are out there in the market about the uh, state of the consumer. Robert says the consumer is still flying. Back to you guys.